Hello viewers, welcome to Raxio Hour. This week we featured highlights from the Uganda Network Operators Group UGNOG Summit which took place on September 29, 2021. UGNOG creates an environment where internet community participants such as operators, enthusiasts, the government and scholars can discuss best industry practices and empower our community to meet the ever-changing demands of a global network in service of building the internet of tomorrow. It is managed and organized by a group of volunteers with the aim of capacity building and technological development within Uganda. The UGNOG Summit convened a couple of panelists and experts in the internet community who gave their unique insights on open access. Panelists included Raxio Data Center's General Manager James Pieruhanga, Noah Maina, IP Peering Coordinator Siakom, Barry Macharia, Product Manager Data Center and Networks Ecolo, and Michael Opio, Senior Networks Engineer, Work Online Communications. Let us hear what they had to say. My name is James Biaruhanga, um, also known as Biaru in the community. Um, I'm the general manager for Raxio Data Center Uganda. Uh, Raxio Data Center is the first current neutral data center in Uganda, tier three level. Um, we are in the process of building 10 data centers in sub Saharan Africa, currently building um, Ethiopia, DRC. Uh, recently announced uh, our investment in Mozambique and Namibia is on the radar as well. Um, we're basically looking at building 1.5 megawatts and above data centers, um, cloud and current neutral data centers. And I'm happy to be in this panel because we are in the open access space um, and just want to kind of bounce ideas with the guys on the panel as well as share with you um, what I think is, uh, is the direction uh, to go in, in this space. My name is Anoa Maina. Uh, I work with SICOM where I handle the peering relationships as a coordinator for peering. Um, for those who do not know what SICOM is, it's a subsea cable system on the eastern coast of Africa, providing uh, various services, including IP related services. Um, and basically, um, that is where I am currently working, and I look forward to contributing some ideas to this panel. Thank you so much. My name is Barry Mancharia. I work at Ecolo. Ecolo is, uh, is actually the only career neutral data center in Kenya at the moment. We build and operate uh, career neutrality is our one of our major major strength point, and we are happy to connect and make sure all the networks that come into this data center serve the established customers to the best of our knowledge. I'm Michelle Opio, a senior network engineer with Work Online. Work Online is a global IP transit provider, and we specialize in um, the African market. So our solutions are to connect the Africans to the global internet and the rest of the world to Africa as well. And I'm glad to be here. Thank you. Technically, what uh, what open access providers depend on is like a CapEx model, throw in quite a bit of cash in the beginning and be able to have this infrastructure you can ride on. And then the service providers or application providers or fintech providers then ride on that infra because they're running on the OPEX model. They pay as they grow. So finding a nice harmony sweet spot where um, the MNOs or ISPs can basically leverage the open access network um, and be able to coexist and know that everyone's playing their role in completing the, the, the ecosystem is really, I think, what's really critical. And I think there's, there's not enough dialogue happening in the region and the market um, to be able to sort of like shape it together. And I think there's a, a, a lot of, of encouragement I would put in this. And that's what we're trying to do as Raxio to work together with uh, different associations and the groups and see that we can provide them a solution that is specific to their requirements and allows them to coexist. With open access, we need to see a little bit more of collaboration within the ecosystem where providers are keen and focused on the areas that they're good at. If you're good at infrastructure, you're able to provide that infrastructure to other providers to use. When you're good at um, access networks, you can do that. And with all these pieces coming together, then the open access makes sense to everyone. And we're able to actually have prices that um, the market can support. At the end of the day, it's about the end user, what they can pay for service, and then also the quality of that service at the end of the day. When we started Mombasa in 2017, the cost of IP transit was really high. I think uh, per meg was about $40 or so. We've seen this drastically going down because of uh, competition and having an open service to where you, everybody is able to offer the services at, at an open rate. The cost of IP transit has gone drastically low to now at about $10 a meg. And uh, 
with with the career neutrality that we've placed in we've placed in place we are seeing this is actually going and able to push the cost of bandwidth lower lower as, as the years come and uh, this is going to open up new opportunities for everyone that is offering service maybe cloud as a service infra as a service and all that so it's a it's an it's an amazing time and we talk about open access at Ecola and I, I i smile we see a lot of uh, growth in the enterprise market in countries where uh, at least you know infrastructure is uh, i mean infrastructure you know players are adopting the open access model compared to countries in the region that are yet to you know, move towards the same direction. The ratio for, for us for positioning ourselves as carrier and cloud neutral, because again, we want to basically um, catalyze the ecosystems to grow. Um, so we think open access is really the way forward um, to be able to have the underlying infrastructure that can be used by different people uh, to provide applications, provide services, um, provide cloud, provide cybersecurity, um, and just allow things to really